welcome back to my channel so today in this video i am using the new well, it's not new anymore i don't think i don't know but i just got it and i really like the effect i'm giving you my new updated brow routine using the anastasia beverly hills brow pen um i've been going lighter with my brows not because not just because like my hair is brown at the moment but just because i don't know i keep going lighter and lighter and lighter eventually i won't have anything there but yeah i really like the lighter brow so i was like let me give it to the people so without further ado let's see how i got them sneeze at they're like still really snatched but still really soft and natural looking so that's like that's like the vibe that i've been going for so, you know, I wouldn't necessarily call it like the Instagram brow trend or, you know, like really bold. They're not like super natural and bushy either, but you know, they're just like, they're just right. So let's see what I did. <laughs> Ooh, All right, y'all, here we are, bare brows. It feels so weird doing my brows on camera, y'all, like so freaking weird. <laughs> so i am starting off using well the first two products that i'm going to be using to shape and fill my brows um i'm taking the morphe micro brow pencil in the color mocha and then i'm also grabbing my anastasia beverly hills brow pen in the color dark brown this is really dark um i cannot imagine how dark ebony or granite is um just because dark brown is so freaking dark it's really dark um yeah, I wish I had a gone lighter. I thought this was going to be light, but it's not. So, I like this pencil. Um, I wanted to compare it to the Glossier um, Brow Flip because y'all know that's like my holy grail for my brows. But, you know, I've been going really lighter and I haven't had a chance to order the Glossier in a brown color. So, I just want to grab this because it's closer. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's just, I just wanted to do it. But yeah, this is really nice if you like, you know, if you're like me and you want a more snatched brow or if you want to create, you know, those faux hairs in there. If you're more fluffier, you know, you can really get that versatility with this product. And that's why I really like it. Um, I don't consider my brows natural looking. They're like powdery, soft, snatched. I don't know. Um, yeah, so let's do some brows. So I am going to start off at the back of my brow, right about where my arches normally start. And I'm just creating a really nice thin line. Like that. So this is like the bottom of my brow. Can you like see it come into life? So I don't follow my natural arch as you can see just because it's like boom, boom. And I feel like that's stupid. Like imagine like my... So I just feel like that's stupid. Um, For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to like glue down my little flyaway hairs with lash glue but you can if the, you know this is like you getting ready to go out or something i'm not doing that just a little clear lash glue pop that right there and when you can seal it um it'll disappear those hairs so just a little fun tip if you know you ever want to change your brow shape or if you're like me and you just don't like your natural shape but you also don't want to like keep shaving them all off for any reason or waxing them off whatever you know just a little other option for you so now i'm going to take the pen and i'm just going to lightly create an even thinner line up here just so you know it has something to go by when I get ready to fill it in so just like literally as you can see like just a tiny little drag right there got that and now I am coming to the top of the brow and I'm coming slightly in front of where the line started right down here and it's hard trying to make sure I'm still in frame so y'all can see. And I'm just creating my top of my brow. And this product just glides so nice as you can see like it doesn't take a whole lot i'm not pressing down on the product really hard either and it's still this dark so you know um yeah just like fyi if you want this pencil um go super super light like 
go light. This is dark brown and it looks damn near black. <laughs> so now I'm just taking the Morphe um, pencil and I'm using this to fill them in. And I'm not doing this like, you know, in any particular way. I'm just lightly shading it in. And I'm just taking this right on top of the line that we created with the brow pen also, just to soften it up slightly. And it's not like I'm drawing fake hairs or anything. I'm just applying like pressure, especially in the front. Um, I usually, I used to didn't even put anything in the front, like it was just bare. And yeah, and you just want to come on top of the line, just keep filling it in, you know, it's nothing, nothing major. I feel like brow pencils are just easier, honestly, if you're, especially if you're like new to brows or whatever. I used to use a pomade and I just, uh, I never like, hated my brows more than when I was using pomade. And so you just want to keep building up that dimension, that color, until you are satisfied with your brow. And then you also just want to make sure, you know, you keep brushing through it just to, you know, make sure you're good to go or whatever. So now I'm going back in with the brow pen. This is just me, like, being Erica. Um, back in the area where, like, I have no hair because, my, like I said, my arch goes right here. As you can see, I am just taking the pen. And I'm just creating tiny little strokes of hair through there. And I mean, just the slightest. And I'm taking them up until like where my real hair is, just so that, you know, it builds still and it look, doesn't look, you know, like too crazy like that. I don't do like, you know, really precise hairs through there, just little flick marks through there a little bit. And then I'm just brushing on top of it. Just because, you know, I just don't do that. <laughs> and we look like this. All right, so now I am just grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Freeze. If you want super flat, laminated brows, this is your product. Like this, I have never seen anything hold hair like this does. Like I damn near want to try to lay my edges with this because this shit like really holds like for real. So I'm just taking a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little spoolie here. And then I'm just wiping it on my hand because you only need a little bit. Otherwise, it will get like mucky. So we're just applying that here. And I mentioned I showed these products in my um, I think this video goes before, but it goes in trying new products. And honestly, guys, I've been using it ever since I tried it and I just love it. So we're just going to brush it through. And get those hairs right where we want them. And they are going to stay put all day, all night, until we take our makeup off. So cute. All right. So now, this part hasn't changed just because I haven't found anything that I like better. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the color 356 to clean up the top and the bottom of my brows. So you only need like a little piece of the mount. And this also um, lasts longer than concealer because um, you're not using as much product and it goes so far. And if you're, especially if you're new to brows and you're, you're noticing that you're getting those like powdery looking lines you're using something too bright and you're not blending it enough and that's why i like using foundation around my brows because i don't have to blend this out like once i put this here i'm finished and i know it sounds weird but i don't blend it out like i don't i just leave it there and it just blends with my foundation that i'm using for the day And 
and I'm just taking a little flat synthetic brush. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is like a Myomir brush, but I'm not sure. This is a flat synthetic brush though. And if you notice, I am using the size of the brush to clean them up versus just the tip. That way it cleans up more surface and it keeps your lines straighter without you having to do so much work because you know it's just already going with the shape of the brush. And I just leave it like that. And now we're going to come on top and clean that up. And here we go. So I pretty much leave it just like this um, and then I just blend it out when I do my concealer under my eye. Um, or if I'm doing like a real eyeshadow look, what I'll take is just my, um, I'll just grab my P. Louise base and then I just put that all over here just like that and just pat that out and that would be the end of it. But I never have to blend this out. And I just feel like that just works for me because this gets blended with the rest of my foundation and everything. This gets blended when I do my color corrector. And that's just how I do. And I think I do pretty good. <laughs> um, this is like the first time in a long time that I like really like my brows lately when I've been using these type of products. So, yeah. This is it. These are the brows. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned, you know, a little tip and trick. Um, overall, I really like this pen. It's very long lasting. Um, do I like it more than my Glossier one? Yes, because it lasts a little bit longer than the Glossier brow flick pen does. Um, color wise, I feel like the Glossier looked better especially when i was doing my darker brows but if i had it in the brown then i think that i would like the glossier pen better because like i said this is dark brown and my brows are really dark um yeah so uh honestly they're neck and neck if you want to save a couple coins then you can do the anastasia one i think it's like three dollars cheaper and then you can also pick this up in store and like ulta and everything versus glossier you have to wait for it to get to you um the Morphe pencil, is it my benefit precisely my brow? No, nothing will ever top that in my book. That's my favorite brow pencil. But this is a really nice pencil for only $5. And they have like a ton of different colors. I think it's like 12 different colors or something like that. I may be tripping. That might not be right. But I think it is like 12 different colors you can choose from. And like I said, it's only $5. But as for this um, brow wax, honey, fresh lamination. Like, I just want to show you on my other bare brow like this can really stick your brows way 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 up there like if that's what you want girl the sky is the limit like i'm just gonna show you real quick So like if fluffy brows are just your thing, this is for you. My mask is like getting in my brow, but it's okay. Like, look at that. And it's also really good if you want it to, um, this face mask is getting in my brow. It's also really good if you want it to like camouflage your brow. So, you know, you could just um apply this. Stick it up with your finger for a couple seconds and then just go ahead on and conceal it all over it and then powder it and boom, you don't have a brow. But look how that is just laid up there, guys. It ain't going nowhere. Like, it is holding them. Well, you can kind of see that. Um, That's my concealer, not my brow, but... <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning into this video. Like I said, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you maybe have a new brow product you want to try out. Let me know what you use for your brows because I'm always down to try new things on my brows just because, you know, those are, I just feel like brows are just so versatile to me. And I feel like that's something that I can always just like experiment with easily. Um, so, yeah. I will see y'all in my next video.